behalf of all 21,000 Conway Freight employees, I want to welcome you to the race and let you know how much we appreciate you being with us here today. Conway Freight has a lot to celebrate this year. Most importantly, our 25th anniversary in the less than truckload industry. The success of Conway Freight has been a direct result of years of support from our loyal customers, as well as the hard work, dedication, and customer service provided by our seasoned, reliable, and responsive employees throughout North America. So to our employees, thank you for everything that you have done and will do to make Conway Freight the LTL industry leader. And of course, to our valued customers, thank you for placing your confidence in our company. We appreciate your business. Another thing we're excited to celebrate is the newest, certainly the fastest, and maybe the most visible Conway Freight driver. He has the potential to be the next racing superstar, and we're excited to sponsor him at the beginning of his promising career as he runs for the Rookie of the Year title in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. I'm proud to introduce you to the driver of the number six Conway Freight Ford F-150, Colin Brown. The dawn of the Conway racing season brings with it a new team, a new truck, and a rising star in American motorsports. It's a legend in the making where safety integrity, commitment, and excellence come together to produce a champion. I was born into the sport, I guess you could say. My dad had been a race car engineer ever since the time I was a little kid. So I was really interested in what he was doing and, and you know, being a young boy, interested in fast cars. And I started racing quarter midgets when I was five years old, which were little midget cars that run on oval tracks. Go, 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 good job. When I was eight, started racing go-karts all over the world. I raced all over North America, I raced all over Japan, Italy, Monaco. Colin Brown developed his taste for success and winning attitude at a young age, picking up nine victories in kart racing competition by the age of 13. When you're a young kid and you're driving a fast car anyway, that's cool, but when you're winning races, that's even cooler. And that just drew me in. And then after that, it just kind of snowballed from there, and I couldn't help myself after that. Switching to cars at age 14, Colin built, race by race, one of the most impressive resumes ever for a young driver, including experience racing formula cars, exotic sports cars, and stock cars. By 18, Colin had earned the distinction of being the youngest Rolex Daytona prototype driver. Colin Brown is flying. And here comes Colin Brown back. Whoa, almost drops two wheels off to the right. The youngest driver to win a Major League North American auto race. The checkers way for York Bergmeister. Colin Brown, oh, Brown yeah. Racing. And the youngest driver to stand on the podium at the prestigious 24 Hours of Le Mans. Now this is a great battle for fifth place. Jimmy Johnson, Nextel Cup and Daytona 500 champion, trying to hold off 18-year-old Colin Brown. We're watching a superstar of the future, 18-year-old Colin Brown, who leads and leads well by almost four seconds. It was a very outstanding crop of rookies this year. Uh, it was a very tight race between Marco Andretti, Denny Hamlin, and Brian Clausen. However, one driver outpaced them all, and it gives me great pleasure to present the Racer Magazine Rookie of the Year Award to Colin Brown. behind the wheel of that 61 right now. 18 years old, and this kid, just frankly, I think is amazing. He's really, really a talented young man. Doors are opening for him all over the racing community. Well, other big news to come out of Watkins Glen this weekend was the fact that young Colin Brown has signed a deal with Roush Fenway Racing. Back here, though, at Homestead Miami Speedway here in Victory Lane with the setup. I'm Chris Devota. We have Jack Roush, Roush Fenway Racing, and driver Colin Brown. And, Jack, you have a big announcement. Let's hear it. Yeah, we've got uh, Conway Freight folks for, with us here tonight. They're going to be the primary sponsor for our Ford F-150 number 6 uh, Craftsman truck. Colin's going to drive the truck. Having signed a long-term contract with Roush Fenway Racing and Ford Racing to drive the number six Conway Freight Ford F-150, Colin is quickly accelerating his promising career. 
well, for me, the opportunity to go and drive the, the, the six truck for Roush Fenway um, is fantastic. I may be a rookie running the truck series, but certainly I don't feel like it because I've got so many great people behind me at Roush Fenway. Though success has thrust Colin into the spotlight at an early age, he's never been far from his family. In fact, chasing success has always been a family affair. My family has played a big role in what I've been doing um, just because of the fact that, that They've been always involved in my career ever since the time when I started racing. When we were racing quarter midgets and go-karts and, and, you know, those formula cars, it was just myself and my brother and my mom and dad and that was the entire team. You know, we'd work on our race car or go-karts back at the shop, drive to the racetrack, unload it, run it, race it, you know, come back home, work on it again and do that every week. For me, I think that's the biggest thing that I've really learned from them. It's just, you know, I'm going to go do something that I need to give 110%. As the newest driver in the Conway organization, Colin is determined to make his new family proud. For me to have Conway as my first real sponsor is, is a pretty cool deal. They have 21,000 plus employees, so to have all those people be part of the team um, and, and to have all the people at Rush Fenway be part of the Conway Freight team um, is a pretty cool experience for me. You know, Conway won the 2007 Carrier of the Year Award for Walmart here this month, so it's been a big month for them and this would be a great way to, I guess, finish it off. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right, and you know, I think that's the same values that the people at Conway Freight have and the same at Roush Fenway. Look at Colin Brown making the move to the inside. And you can see Colin Brown closing quickly. A little drag race here between Colin Brown and that Conway Freight Ford number six. And how about the run for young Colin Brown? Third in the running order and not afraid to mix it up with a veteran. This kid knows what he's doing. On the inside of Mike Skinner trying to take that position away. And Colin Brown will drive by him on the outside. How about a spectacular career best finish for Colin Brown? I just want to go out there and uh, and win races for Ash Fenway and for Conway Freight.